Hi everyone, I'm Holly and today I'm making our Calendula Carrot Double Milk Soap. The first thing I do is add in the carrot and this is just baby food pureed. I do buy organic but it's such a nice fine puree. I love it. It works really well and it blends in super nice. It's just carrots. And I'm also going to be putting in my milk mixture. This is a buttermilk with goat milk powder. I just could not get my hands on any goat milk this, um, this week. And I also have honey in there. I had originally planned to make this batch with powders. And then my husband did run over to the health food store and, and picked up our order. But we still didn't get the goat milk. So powder it is this time. So I had to make some adjustments just because I'd already prepped my batch for the powders and so I didn't have enough liquid to work with etc. But it's going to be delightful. So I'm going to get this all blended into the base oils. So the base oils also had calendula infused olive oil. So it always gets a little bit of a speckle here or there from the calendula petals that I strain them but every now and again one falls through. My lye solution has some crunchies on it because I made it yesterday and it's reduced the carrots, the honey, the milks that all comes out of the liquid portion, the portion that I would use as water to mix with the lye solution. So the lye solution is a little bit more concentrated because we have the liquids in here already. So I'm going to go ahead and strain the lye solution. And you're probably going to ask, why can we add carrots and milk? and honey to soap and it be okay. Well, this is cold process soap, which means the lye solution and the binding of the oils in the lye solution to create the cold process soap, it creates an environment where the gunkies just can't make it, just can't grow. Now, it can be overwhelmed, obviously. It's a balance. So I try not to use too much. I don't want to go overboard. I just want to have the fun element of it, get a little bit of the feeling of it, but no concern of it really having any issues. And it's about time to be making our pumpkin soap too. So much fun. So I've just brought it to emulsification because I want to split it off and then I will be blending it a bit more. So emulsification means there's no trace. It doesn't leave a trace on the surface, but it's blended. There's no oils that are like swirling about. We've already reached emulsification. So I'm going to pour out into these I have a couple of them here. I'm going to pour to about the eight quart line, I think, for starters. And this one is my biggest batch, so it is super full. Okay, eight. Then we'll see how we need to adjust it from there. Right at eight. Okay, so into this one, I am going to add some 
titanium dioxide because I do like to lighten it up a bit. I have been making this soap for so long. It's one of my originals. And I'm going to add in the rosemary essential oil. Now essential oils do real things. So it's important to check EOCalc or other informative locations to know what the safe usage level is for the essential oils. Now the other thing I do add into this is some poppy seeds just the way we do it okay that looks good we're not looking for a lot of poppy seeds so this one is at a very light trace all right now into this side we're adding orange essential oil and you can see just how dark and beautiful it is and that's going to add a considerable amount of color to this side. It smells like orange juice. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, so now I'm going to start pouring. We really <laughs> flopped up there. I'm going to switch my pouring arm. Maybe I can let's see better. This isn't that heavy at this point, so my right arm can handle it. just kind of go back and forth. I just let it fall in as it goes. Now for the rest of the creamy color. I love the smell of rosemary. Oh my goodness. Get the rest of this orange on and this will lighten up to more of a yellow. That's just how it goes. Usually with carrots, I don't get the orange payoff. It always ends up being yellow. This is just a cheerful soap. It's my husband's, one of his favorite scents. You know what? We're switching. I am not loving this spatula today. My husband does not, he's not choosy when it comes to the soaps and scents. You know, that's that's kind of my domain. I'm super choosy. His, his sniffer is not as uh, potent as my sniffer. Everybody thinks I have a crazy sniffer around here because I can smell things that others cannot. I think it helps me to blend fragrances sometimes. And so he doesn't often comment on scents or what he likes in particular or doesn't like. But he does always comment on this soap. He loves this one. 
and he will make sure that he gets his stash. He loves orange. Orange is one of his favorite like flavors. So <laughs> it's kind of fun. I don't think I've ever soaked just rosemary essential oil plain. I might have to do that because it gives me the Vicks Vapo Rub vibes. I bet it'd be really awesome with eucalyptus. I mixed eucalyptus and tea tree recently. Oh my word. So good. I'm gonna clean up the edges a little bit. This is setting up quite well, so I will be able to do my spoon top here in just a moment. So what I like to do is I just do spoon dollops and then I will top it with just a little bit more of the poppy seeds. I'm just going to sprinkle on some poppy seeds with a little bit more on the top. Okay, so here we have the newest batch of Calendula carrot soap. Looks so beautiful, and I cannot wait to cut into it. I'll see you back here for the cut. So it's time to cut this Calendula carrot soap, and it's always such a fun one. It smells so good. It's orangey, but it's a little bit herby slash medicinal with the rosemary. I just really, really like it. So I'm going to slide it as far down as I can here for this one cut so that I can get enough bars out of it. Hopefully. Oop, that just slid right down. That was not far enough down. <laughs> so, oh that's a cool swirl. So this is the Calendula carrot soap and you can see there's really not that many poppy seeds on the inside. Just kind of gives a fun look with the poppy seeds on the top. So nice. Oh, this one is kind of fun. This one has like, it like did like these uh, layered side swirls. Hopefully you'll be able to see that if I hold it long enough. That's a neat look. I like it. And then every now and again we do have a little bit of calendula that made it through and just leaves a little speckle there. So yeah, it's another batch. Turned out great. Now by adding the rosemary to exactly half and the orange to exactly half, the whiter is just a little bit um, whiter than it usually is. And I think maybe next time I will. Wow, I feel like we're quite a ways away here. I'm having to really reach across this table and I think it's bumping on the tripod also. Anyway, I think I like it with that 
dark orange essential oil in the whole batch and then light it up a little bit. This is pretty hard. There's another fun swirl. So yeah, it really turned out quite nicely. And I don't think I will cut all of these extra loaves. I've already cut three loaves off camera. And I don't think I'm going to talk through all of them. So I am just going to keep cutting these. And I keep, this is what I always do. I never give myself enough space over here to operate. I'm just going to keep cutting these soaps. And then I'll get them stacked up on the tray. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.